I typically re recommend that most owners have a routine to where they can go in and have a way that they look over their entire horse to make sure everything's perfect before they go use them for day-to-day -day training, competition, and whatnot. Yeah, I, I definitely agree. As as a professional trainer, we had a routine every morning where we, you know, we look at horses. We would actually feel their legs. We feel for heat or inflammation. Uh, we'd see how they, how they would walk. We might take them out of the stall and see how they trot to see how they're moving. But also, uh, and not just from a professional standpoint, but anybody should always keep their eye on their horse to see, you know, how they're laying down, how they're resting, and how they're acting in the stall. If they're, you know, if they're resting a limb or, you know, check for heat or inflammation, there should be a, a checklist to go through. Um, and if there is a warning sign, that's when we would call, you know, Dr. Alden and say, you know, this is something I haven't seen before or this is something that's gotten worse and we think we need to do a complete physical examination because we need to get to the root of the problem before it becomes a real serious issue. Well, when I'm asked to do a physical examination on a horse, I have a, a very, very regimented routine that I've done the same way for basically the last 25, 30 years. I like to look at the horse cold as a blank page. I don't like to get the history because it's important for me not to have a prejudiced or a biased point of view as to what the problem necessarily is. Uh, what I'll do is I'll look at the horse cold, do my physical, even go so far as to watch them travel, meaning that I'll watch them walk, look at the balance of the feet, look at the way they hit, you know, how they, they their swing pattern of the limb, whether it's wing in, wing out, this sort of thing. And then I'll trot them on a line, straight backwards and forward. And then of course, if they show a deficit, sometimes I'll even put them in a circle both directions, clockwise and counterclockwise. Then at that point in time, I'll get a complete history of what they have suspected, what they have treated, what an owner has looked at before. So it gives me a complete comprehensive idea of how this horse has progressed at this point. Because a lot of times what can happen is, uh, it's not necessarily what I need to look at that needs to be readdressed sometimes it just tells me that you know you know what you don't need to do you need to move into another area because if it's the same limb and you've been treating the same problem the horse is still lame that's probably not the problem you need to be looking elsewhere the main goal here is the prevention of problems from happening so we want to look at the preventative side of things uh, if there is a question mark there is a concern we're going to call dr all day